What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about The Division 2, which is something that I recently got back into playing. I did play the game for a long time after it first released, but it's really been probably a year or a year and a half since I've played the game, uh, you know, recently. Uh, I kind of took some time off from it, been playing other stuff, but kind of like, of course, you know, I play a lot of Destiny here on the channel as well. It's one of those looter shooter kind of games, action role playing game, whatever, you know, kind of category you want to put it in that is really enjoyable. And Ubisoft is kind of doing the same with Division 2 as they did with uh, kind of uh, how they handled, I guess you would say, Rainbow Six Siege, in my opinion. Game, begin with, when it first came out, was popular, it kind of fell off, and they've been doing a lot of work to gain that popularity back. There's still a lot of players playing the Division 2 and a lot of people coming back to the game. And today I kind of want to just talk about, just in case it's something that you know, you're looking at maybe playing, maybe looking at picking up for the first time, kind of some of the changes that they have done over the last year or so and some things they're looking at changing in the future. So they have done a lot of performance changes. Now, the last time that I had played this, I had uh, mainly played on PS4. I had played a little bit on PS5, but until recently, you know, I haven't played a lot on PS5 like I have now. I've been playing for the last several weeks, farming some of the weapons and gear that I did not have. And there's a lot of easy ways to do that. So the performance is one thing that I did notice. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be great on older gen consoles, but at least from my experience on PS5, the performance is really good. I do wish they had a PS5 version, you know, like a lot of games nowadays have a upgraded version that is for PS5, but they do have some enhancements for new gen. But, you know, it's still technically that PS4 version. I haven't really heard any complaints of players talking about issues on new gen Xbox or on PC. But one thing that they did change, if you have not played in a while, is they reduced cost in expertise upgrades and optimization. Now, some of these things may not have been in the game the last time you played, but those are two things that they did change. Uh, the open world loot uh, is based on world difficulty, so that's going to scale to the world difficulty you have set. Recalibration is uh, to be available from your inventory. The third attribute of every exotic will be made available for recalibration. There are going to be even more changes to exotics uh, in year six. So that's going to be something that's going to change even more. They have reworked skill mods. Uh, the, ACE, uh, the SHD point cap on skills is to be increased to 2,000. More fun and rewards will be implemented in projects and global events in the game. Now that cap to going increased to 2000 is even higher than that now. I'm just kind of highlighting some of the things they've done over the last year, year and a half. Talent rotation optimization for countdown summit and descent. And those are some really good options for farming gear. Countdown is a great way to farm gear because you can actually, you know, kind of target what loot you want there's a lot of loot drop there as long as you can finish it and it's not just a solo thing you go in there with a large group it is eight players and you can match make it they're also reworking some things in pvp uh underperforming weapons they're buffing and tweaking the weapons rogue mechanics will undergo a minor rework and perks from brand sets will be buffed and more for a more rewarding experience so this is kind of some of the things they've done and some of the things they're talking about doing and of course, year five is about to end year five, season three. But in 2024, we will get year six, season one, year six, season two. And in 2025, there will be year six, season three. So in 2024, for year six, season one, you're going to have QOL improvements, new manhunt, apparel event. Same kind of thing for year six, season two. You'll have seasons 2.1, new manhunt, and an apparel event. And in 2025, you're going to get a new story DLC, a new manhunt, and a new apparel event. Now, we do know that one of the uh, developers has been talking about this recently, uh, what they're looking to do with the game. A lot of people figured there's going to be a new Division game very soon. And I think there will be probably 2026, 2027 is kind of the rumor, kind of the hints we're getting from the development team themselves. They have been working on other things as well for Ubisoft. So I think once all that's done and out, they're probably going to start focusing on another Division game. But overall... Uh, Right now, the Year 5 Season 3 Van, uh, Vanguard has been something that I've been really enjoying playing. And that's going to be, you know, kind of winding down now. You still have a little bit of time to hop in and, you know, participate in that season. But Season uh, 1 for Year 6 will be starting somewhat soon. And that's going to be something that I think a lot of people will be interested to kind of hop in and play from the get-go. Because all of these changes that they have made and all of the changes they're planning on making going into you know, year six, season one, it's going to be some big improvements. So all the stuff I've talked about is kind of some of the stuff, you know, not everything, but some of the stuff they've, uh, you know, changed over the last year or so. 
And that is something that uh, kind of piqued my interest once I, you know, was reading about this, had some friends playing, been hopping on playing myself. I can see those improvements, and it is very enjoyable. For me personally, things like Destiny, things like The Division 2, those looter-shooter style games uh, are really fun, really enjoyable. I enjoy those action RPG style games, uh, RPG games. I play the, you know, the Elder Scrolls online here on the channel too. And the older I've got uh, over the years, I've really enjoyed these type of games. I enjoy the whole aspect of going in and being able to build your character to a certain play style that you enjoy and that's something that you know a lot of games out there offer but don't do it as well as some others and those three games that i just mentioned here that i play on the channel are those are the reasons you know some of the reasons that i play those games because i do enjoy the way you can build those classes and play them and i just like the you know fluidity of the game uh, when it comes to the division two and like i said destiny and the elder scrolls online now i'm not saying that the division two does not need some more work i still feel like some of the ui is a bit clunky and um, I feel like you still get stuck on things sometimes when moving around the map, but they have made some big improvements to settings. So I'm not sure if all of these settings are going to be on old gen consoles. You have more options for things like field of view for when you're aimed down sight and when you're just moving around the map. We also have some changes, you know, for graphics, HDR, stuff like that, if you're on new gen. So there's a lot of things you can do in game that improve uh, the game overall with the settings on new gen consoles. Once again, old gen consoles, we know that's kind of a, a hard thing to upgrade too much because of how much effort has to be put into memory, you know, for the old console to be able to run correctly. And it looks like, you know, over time, old gen consoles have, you know, they're doing less and less for them. We all kind of expected that to happen. But as of right now, I really not heard a lot of complaints on the Division 2 and how it performs on any platform, old gen or new gen. So it's one of those things that if you been looking to maybe get back into uh this year i think it's definitely something you might want to check out i know when it comes to games nowadays it's kind of hard to find things to play but there's a lot of stuff that comes out but nothing that catches everyone's eye like we used to have a long time ago i've been a long time gamer so i remember those big releases of you know maybe one or two games a year that everyone played now that's not really the case because a lot of this stuff has kind of become disappointing and and it's funny to me to think that the things that i've played the most year in and year out uh, besides some first-person shooters, are going to be things like The Division 2 now, uh, Destiny, and uh, The Elder Scrolls Online. Those are the games that I keep going back to and play for the majority of the year. And all three of those games are older games. But in my opinion, all of those games do things very well. And that's kind of the reason I wanted to make this video, because I think Ubisoft is doing a lot of good stuff with The Division 2, and it's definitely worth trying out. Again, if you have not played it in a while, if you were like me, and, you know, if you're taking a year off, maybe a little longer, or if you've never played it whatsoever, it's definitely something you can hop on and play. I know they do have a lot of sales for the game itself on PlayStation, probably the same on Xbox and PC. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.